Okay, let's go ahead and figure out this super simple math problem right here. And what we have is 8 divided by 4 divided by 2. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy. However, many, many people are going to get this problem incorrect. So if you could do this without the aid of a calculator, put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer here in just one second, and then I'm going to uh, kind of really emphasize an extremely important basic math concept that is going to uh, be the reason why a lot of you are going to do this incorrectly. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. It really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so 8 divided by 4 divided by 2, what is the answer? Well, let's go to take a look at it right now. So I have two choices here. So probably 99% of you have one answer or the other. So we're going to award the nice little happy face an A plus and a 100% to the correct answer. So what is that correct answer? It is no, it is not four. So it is one. One is the correct answer. But if you did um, um, have four as your answer, I'm happy you made that error because a lot of people did. Don't feel bad. I'm going to clear up this confusion here in a uh, second. But uh, if you got one, it could be that you got lucky, right? Hopefully that's not the case. But if you, in fact, you didn't answer this and you absolutely knew what you were doing, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, I'm going to throw in extra uh, stars here for you so you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are an expert in the order of operations because that's really how um, or what we need to know in order to do this problem correct. It's a very simple problem. But uh, the concept is not that simple. It's uh, extremely important, and I think a lot of students uh, simply don't understand it well enough. But let's kind of uh, start this off. So here we have uh, this problem, right? So we have 8 divided by 4 divided by 2. It's the one we're trying to figure out. So we have to do division, okay? Now, but the problem is this. Do we go this way, 8 divided by 4, and then take that answer and then divide that by 2? Or did we go 4 divided by 2, get that answer, and then uh, take 8 and divide it by that answer, right? So the order makes a difference. Order is critical. So how do we know what order to take when we're figuring out a problem like this? Well, we have to use this thing right here. Now, I'll make quite a few videos about this because this is an extremely important uh, math uh, concept that a lot of uh, students kind of, um, you know, maybe don't focus on enough. But this is a little mnemonic. It says basically a memory aid, a little phrase that you can remember uh, to help you remember something called the order of operations. Okay, So I'll explain this phrase here in just one second. But let's be clear on um, what a mathematical operation is. So if I give you two, any two numbers, what can you do with those numbers? Well, you can add them. You can subtract them, you can multiply them, you can divide them, you could even take powers. So these are examples of mathematical operations, okay? Now, uh, the order of what, what operations we um, do first is this little phrase right here, okay? Well, this is what tells us. So let me tell you a little um, saying, and then I'll explain this. So uh, just to remember this, uh, P-E, uh, P-E-M-D-A-S, You'll um, hopefully remember this phrase. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, I don't know what Aunt Sally did, but she's definitely helping us out with this nice, lovely uh, phrase here. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So anytime you see a kind of um, any problem in mathematics with different operations, you want to be thinking about Aunt Sally. Be like, okay, what is she telling me to do? Well, she's telling you to do the following. So let's go through this real quick. So the P stands for parentheses. So if you see anything with parentheses or brackets, these are what we call grouping symbols. So we can group numbers together. Even these little squiggly brackets like this, anything like that, you want to go to those uh, brackets. And this is, by the way, a real quick uh, explanation on this. So you want to go to those and do what's inside those particular grouping symbols or brackets first. Now, as you continue on, uh, if there are no brackets, what you're going to look for next is E. And E stands for exponents, but you could think of it as powers. So like 2 to the third power, this little 
3 up here is called an exponent with this power. The 2 is called a base, but that's what the E stands for. Now, the next thing here, this is a very confused uh, uh, thing about the order of operations, is M and D. It's not M. Now, M is multiplication, D is division, A is addition, and S is subtraction. So, you know, we're kind of going from order from left to right, but a lot of students uh, think, oh, I must do multiplication, then I'll do division, then I'll do addition, and then I'll do subtraction if these things show up. That's not how the order of operations uh, works. Works, excuse me. So you want to um, look at M and D as a group. Okay, you're going to do whatever you see first from left to right. Now in this problem here, we have no multiplication, so of course we're going to do division, but we're going from left to right. It's always uh, from left to right. So if you see division before multiplication, you would do that. Okay, I have other example videos on this uh, on my channel. And if you need like more like full instruction, check out uh, one or two courses. I'll leave the links to them uh, in uh, the description, my math foundation course or my pre-algebra course. Okay, so you're going to handle any multiplication and division from left to right. And then you're going to tackle any addition and subtraction from left to right. So this is the order of operations. Okay, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That's, uh, that's what we have to remember. So thinking about this, whoops, uh, let me go ahead and just rewrite this here real quick. So now that you have a good understanding of PEMDAS, P-E-M, uh, P-E-M, I have to even kind of take my time here, write this out. You don't have to write this out all the time. You could kind of think about it. But it's not a bad idea for you just to write this little um, saying out or this little acronym and think about it and just go through it like a checklist. So the first thing is, do we have any parentheses uh, here? No. Do we have any powers, any exponents? No. Do we have any multiplication here? No. Do we have division? Yes. Okay. Now, which uh, division should I do? Well, you're going to tackle any division problems going from left to right. So this is the first uh, thing we're going to do, 8 divided by 4. All right. So now this is going to be pretty easy here. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. So we're just uh, down to 2 divided by 2, which, of course, is 1, which is our answer. All right, now let me go ahead and show you this problem uh, done incorrectly. And it's easy to make this mistake. Please do not feel bad about making this error, getting this wrong, all right? Uh, the main idea here is to learn from it, okay? And really uh, gain uh, deeper respect, if you will, for the order of operations. As a math teacher, you know, I've been uh, teaching for decades. I've graded maybe 10 million plus uh, quizzes, tests. Well, not that many, but you know what I'm talking about. I've graded tons and tons of works. You see these trends. And I would have to say probably in um, the order of operations, not um, uh, really understanding the order of operations uh, well enough, is like one of the top three reasons uh, students struggle in math. Okay, so if you're having a difficult time in basic mathematics, pre-algebra and stuff, it's likely you don't understand the order of operations well enough. So we'll uh, see uh, this problem done incorrectly. But uh, before we uh, do that, if you have not yet subscribed, okay, uh, I'd like you to consider subscribing. It would really, really help me out. If you like my content, I've been on YouTube for quite some time. I have thousands, well, yeah, maybe a couple thousand videos at this time. I try to cover uh, from basic math to advanced math by calculus. So I just love teaching. So if you could help me out and consider subscribing, that would uh, be great. And make sure to hit that notification bell as well. All right, let's take a look at this problem done incorrectly. Now, it's logical to kind of, you know, look at this. Like, I got to do division and division. So maybe some of you, you know, uh, your brains, you know, or maybe are thinking in this way. So it's, you know, it's not a... Um, you know, a, a crazy thing to look at this problem and go, yeah, I'll take this 4 divided by 2, and so I'll get a 2 there, and then I'll take that 8 and divide it by 2, and I'll end up with the 4, okay? It's logical, okay? However, uh, this is not following the proper, of order of, uh, proper order of operations, but, you know, it's easy to be deceived here because we are doing these steps correctly. 4 divided by 2 is 2, 8 divided by 2 is, in fact, 4, okay? So, the steps here are correct. The order is not, okay? So, again, uh, for those of you out there that are struggling in basic math or even algebra, pre-algebra, take a look at the order of operations. I mean, do, you want to do more challenging problems than this, but the, I would say, again, uh, the top three things that really um, gives uh, students a tough time at uh, kind of that basic math level is one, the order of operations. I'll just kind of write these down. Uh, two, 
positive and negative numbers. Okay, the rules for positive and negative numbers, that's another uh, kind of uh, classic weak area for a lot of students. And the third thing is my favorite fractions. Okay, students do not like fractions. And when you couple this all together, you end up kind of like in a lot of math students are like, I hate math. That's why I just don't want to take math. Well, listen, all this stuff can be learned. You know, it's not that big of a deal. What you have to do is focus, okay? Focus and just learn these things one skill at a time. So hopefully I can help you out. So again, uh, if you need help with any of these courses, check the links in the description or again, just go through my uh, YouTube channel. I have a ton of videos. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.